Welcome back and good morning, y'all. Once again, we are here with more Rocket League games here at the Play vs. Fall 2022 High School Championship featuring the Arkansas Heritage Association. Of course, my man, Animal, how you doing, dog? Oh, I'm happy to be here, excited <laughs> for some games, ready to get down to the action. We've got some stellar teams on the lineup here for you today. We have a face-off with a best of seven between the Axel Collectors and Team Balance. I just want to say, I love those names. I think yeah. you mentioned that as well. <laughs> Phenomenal Rocket League names representing Valley View High School and Van Buren High, respectively, here. We have Chris Jennings, the coach of the Valley View Axel Collectors, uh, representing Jade, uh, Jim's Kinda, and Gabe. Uh, and on the Van Buren High, Coach Wes Gandel representing, uh, wow, that's a, uh, we got Rogers? Dodgers. Yeah, and then <laughs> uh, we got Lone Wolf Pup. And I'm I'm gonna butcher this middle one. Um, any ideas on this one? I want to say Zushi. Zushi, yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll get a clarification <laughs> on that from, uh, yeah. from the uh, from the team behind the scenes here. But let's get down to the pitch. Let's get it started. Suplex, do you got any keys mm. to today's games? Excited. Kick it right off now. Get a ball straight towards the side of team balance. I'm assuming. Yeah, those things are correct. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, yeah we First do have the Axel Collectors on the blue team and the Team Balance on the orange team. Uh, respectively, again, representing Valley View High and Van Buren High. Mm. Big opportunity there for Gabe. Wanted to get a touch on it. Couldn't quite get it off the bat there. Team Balance is going to make it to their own end. But kind of. Look at an aerial play here. Gets a pass towards the middle. It's going to be cleared out by Team Balance. Chris is in very clear comfort in the air from Axel Collectors here. Whoa, off the Wee. crossbar, that's an early shot, hello. Team Balance wanted to be the first team to strike the series here. Unable to capitalize on that opportunity. Great shot off the crossbar there. There's another one that looks the center, and the Axel Collectors do clear it out. What a solid reactionary defense there, but even better save from Sushi. Oh my goodness, yo. Reaction time for these players is one thing, but the accuracy of their movement to really make these plays is another. Yeah, we're off to the races already in a big way here as Team Balance is going to try and clear it out of their own end. Nice pass across. They're able to get over one. A little bit of an opening in the corner there, but Axel Collectors do at least stop in the corner for the time being. Another 50 towards the slot there. Gabe is looking to corral this ball there. Isn't able to get to it. Jade is in net in the center slot. Just make sure nothing gets through. So it's boost on the side wall there. It's going to go up in the air to pick that opportunity. And a huge shot on net. Wow, big opportunity there for Gabe. Just able to capitalize. That's at the corner here. Potential shot, but a nice little clear there. Of course, I don't want to let anything set up too much here. Oh, 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 oh. Almost loses it there, but a nice little save. Of course, that Gabe holding it down. Spicy play there in the slot. Great <laughs> opportunity. And Wolf, we'll you, you can see just how comfortable these teams are just taking into the air, fighting it all in the air to air shots. And of course, if you miss those, you're going to be hang time for a long time. It's risky, but when you have the hours under your belt to really hit these shots in the air, it's impressive, you Boy! Okay, turn that just barely. Go for shot off the pass. Rogers trying to take it across the field. No dice this time, Max Collectors. Holding down that offense. Trying to keep it on the side of Team Balance, but... So far, Team Balance can't wait to get it cleared. But we got some really good offense and just... It's almost it's like almost active... Like active. It's almost like treating the center goal line or the central middle line as your um, as your actual goal. It's not letting it even pass that. Yeah, that was uh, again some crazy opportunities coming in here. You know, I, I, I surprised as the zero zero scoreline is these teams seem to be relatively evenly matched. But at this point, usually the seal has been broken on the scoreline. Mm. As we come down to the final two minutes here, Whoa. they're still looking for an opportunity towards the front of the net as that one goes high and wide over top. A corner clear here for Gabe, just one by the net, but can't quite win that one 50 50. And one more chance for us collectors to hopefully get back in there. But right now they're on defense, a nice little dunk from Rogers, bounces it off the wall. Perfect flight to catch it, pass himself. Look at this play, yo. Oh no, it's off Zushi off that wall. Very nice communication Ooh. there. Yeah, a smart play there, and Team Balance breaks the uh, score line just under the two minute mark here. One nothing lead and um, again that, that first game and that first goal sets sets the pace and sets the precedent for the rest of the series is how things will shake out. A little top of the roof demo there, some fireworks for the crowd. Got back up. 
towards the center. Now towards Sunstein Balance, hopefully. Chance for us Pluckers, but they can't quite make it happen that easily. Team Balance, of course. Big whiff, but nobody's ready for the shot! The net was completely open, but us Pluckers still recuperating, still gaining boost. And off the top! Oh, oh those <laughs> two bounces! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Dancing on the goal line, wasn't able to finish it off there as Axel Collectors are going to want that one back. This team Balance heading to the other end and looking to strike there. Big shot towards the net, wasn't able to land it in the goal, but Axel Collectors are going to go back to the other end and see if they can recover that, that crazy crossbar. Yeah, near halt, hurt stopper there, but we're going to keep moving. Just one goal inside Team Balance so far, but Axel Collectors have yet to clap back. They've had chances, they've had setups, they've had really, really good offense and ball control. On side of the imbalance, but once they get it towards the net, they just can't quite get it to be a uh, unstoppable goal. Ooh, a chance there from Zushi, but again, not quite there on time. Jake is demoed as well. They slowed on that pace for side of Axe Collectors as they respawn and to regain that boost as well. Yeah, manage that boost, make sure you get the uh, the refills when you need them there, especially coming back from spawn. You only have a 33 boost to work from respawn, just not a lot to work with, all said and done. Final 20 seconds here, Axel just really need an opportunity here. Reminder for those at home, zero seconds does not constitute the end of the game. The end of the game is constantly going around zero seconds and the ball touches the ground. So, still an opportunity for a play here for the Axel but just buy this up if you really want to. Yeah, three seconds of the clock, but the chances are not limited until it hits the ground like that. Team Balance, of course, sneak it away. It's a huge dunk from Rogers. hit that game one. Put themselves on the board. Momentum started. Very nice stuff I, so far. That's a great kickoff to the series. I'm uh, I'm not disappointed to be honest. I think that was a very evenly matched series. I don't think either team let up too much on the performance side. They kept safe plays in front of their own nets. They took the opportunities that they had and tried to make the best of them. Like we saw that one just bounce off the crossbar on the axle like the side. They weren't able to capitalize on fortunate bounces that can all go your way you know it do be mm. like that um but as you know as we move into the series and as we get a little deeper in it's really important for these players to remain calm work as a team make those passes to each other and find a way to connect for those very important things oh no entire i think i have a plan in mind it's not quite ready to warm it up quite yet high game Back one under the races <laughs> here we go yeah we got practice under our belt now Excuses now as the hand should be warm. Everyone's had an opportunity to play here. Everyone's been looking good too. No one's slacking, that's for sure. No, the 1 0 scoreline on game one, I mean, that's crazy. And I agree entirely. I think that's the important thing we need to recognize here is this is a tight series. A 1 0 scoreline in a game of Rocket League is surprising at best, if I'm being honest with you. Mm. Rocket League is typically a higher scoring game. You know, I'd say pace is usually a 3 2 scoreline and not higher than that. We've seen games that can spiral out of control to the seven eights and even double digits occasionally here. So I think it's going to be critical for these teams to maintain that strong goal line presence to make sure they're not letting any easy opportunities through, but they need to find a way to capitalize on those opportunities that do end up the other team tripping up with their own net, you know, and those little crossbar bounces, little post bounces, just picking up little stuff like that, you know, leads to good goals and good opportunities very quickly. There's one's going to open up for the net, Abe, one to pass that in front. Like yeah, really solid stuff. I mean, on top of that as well, it's not only the amount of warm-up you need, but the amount of communication warm-up you need as well. I mean, playing with a team is not easy. And even when you're uh, fully playing with each other every single day, I mean, really getting those practice rounds in, it can take a while to really get in that flow of uh, synergy and being on the same page as everyone else. It's time to accept it. That's why he plays the team. Oh, big <laughs> light opportunity there. There we go, Team Balance breaks the seal again in this game, number two, up one nothing. A little earlier than last time, so a little more time to extend their lead if they do too, so... Mm. I just want to credit the Astro Pluckers, great initial save on the goal line there to keep that one out. You know, it was cleaned up at the end by Team Balance, but I don't think that was evident of the play of the Astro Pluckers on that uh, initial save. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that initial save was looking really solid, but when you have someone who's that ready for not quite fast enough of a clear there, just happens to a uh, situation, right? Having that readiness, having that preparation to really just catch any chance at a shot, that's what makes the difference here. And until we can see Axe do the same, we might see the scoreline only increase for team balance. It's true, that is true. Is 
Roger Jarrell is going to get the sky for that one. Wants to get it to down. Jade's going to try and crowd this one. Lex to go back, reflex and boost and regain. Ass comes over there, demo, sent back to spawn. Middle Jarrell's so sick. <laughs> I love, I love. Yeah, demo plays in Rock League are one of the most underrated plays in general. I, mm. I think, genuinely speaking, if you can play a strong demo game and you know, keep the team rotating in a respawn, it allows oh. you to. Oh, big opportunity there for Team Balance. Could capitalize there. Is my thoughts. Um, but again, demo plays are critical to game control, and it's also how you regain boost control. Ooh. Wow! As, oh my god, what a save on the cool line there by Team Balance as. Axe collectors are finally firing on all cylinders, getting these initial opportunities towards the front of the net. He's casting into the goal there. I mean, it's right there. They're getting such great shots off, but they can't sneak Jade. it towards the goal. Uh, Jade wanted that one, tried to sneak it underneath the players. Good play to get there as Team Balance is now heading back to the other end, looking to strike on a few opportunities of their own. It's an unfortunate set of amazing defensive plays from the side of Team Balance here. For, and for if you're Axe collectors, you're getting pretty frustrated at this point because you've got amazing offense going on. You've got really good ball control. You've got intense pressure at the net. It's just not sinking. More bounce above the goal line of Axe Collectors. Not a huge chance, but a nice clear as well. Gabe with a huge run! And since you can't make it, not enough boost on deck to really truly rotate all the way back around on time. And boom, there's a chance Axe Collectors needed to even up the score line and put themselves on the board. Tie game, you love to see it as Axe Collectors are able to capitalize on an over commit from the team balance side there. They had two people too low and then the defenseman was cheating up towards the halfway line. A little bit of a dangerous play and they're going to have to pay for it on the scoreline there is 1-1 with just about a minute 20 left in this uh, game number two. Mm. Now, that's kind of what I'm getting at when I start to mention the overall communication warm up, the ability to really play at your best level, and on top of that, the ability to really um, predict these shots and keep your concentration because the moment you let that lapse, the moment you get out of the position for just a moment's time like that, it's a big chance. Chances are coming to the final minute of play here. Players looking to get a, another, or actually just I think another opportunity in front of the net here. Jade setting up a teammate. Ass comes in, not quite there as Team Balance is able to get a strong clear all the way back to the other end. That's going to bounce awkwardly in front there. Ooh. I had to be careful as that one bounced right back to the slot. A bit of a terrifying situation here. Yeah, you can see, trying to clear that ball. That will be set up above the net. This question is just going for a dive. Trying to see if they can at least make one more goal happen in the slot 30 seconds before they have to go into overtime. Overtime, of course, this early might be pretty draining for these players. Let's say, uh... Strong, uh, a strong presence in this two-game series. Only in game number two, obviously, it's a marathon to get through seven games because uh, the fatigue sets in, and then overtime again is sudden death. So first goal wins, and game does not end until that goal scored. Is oh my Whoa! god, big opportunity there, for Jade, on the save. Holy cow! And we are going to go to overtime, but that <laughs> was a, uh, a race to the finish there. Oh my goodness. The reaction from Jade to keep an eye on that ball and make sure they couldn't get a little back hit into the goal from an angle like that. Really solid stuff on the defense. Really solid stuff on the offense to even make a shot like that. Both these teams truly nothing but fearsome. Yeah, nothing but fearsome. And again, I think we talked about it in game number one. It's a tight game. It's 1-1. Mm. No one's given an inch in this series, says... You know, heading into 30 seconds of OT, I, I have a feeling we might be here a while, so let's... Yeah, I mean, in a best of seven, of course, like you said, it's testing, for sure. And a tight matchup like this, I can only imagine the amount of tension getting these players, because stamina-wise, against the head-to-head -head like this, where both teams are so evenly matched, it's either going to be really fun the whole way, or it's going to be a true test of how long to keep that focus, because like we saw earlier, that one lapse of judgment means a goal. Here's the lapse of judgment and the tied score line as the Axel Collectors are able to bury this goal in overtime here off a nice back pass off the backboard there. No team balance players there to... Uh, and, uh, well, we got an even score line here. Oh, yeah. Super solid start so far. Both these teams, you can tell just how much they love the game. You can tell just how much they love playing against each other because right now, I can only see really nice interactions. The defense, the offense, the challenges from these players, the demos alone are, are like 
there's, there's an almost an unspoken communication in competitive esports, and when you have interactions like that, where you're just seeing people just fly against each other in the air for the ball, <laughs> demoing each other, that's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. It's uh, genuinely beautiful, I would say, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Players are getting ready in the pitch here. So... Hell yeah. It's been out for a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can totally put the work in, so I can only really imagine the real difference maker between these teams being just a matter of hours spent and a matter of communication between the teams, because when it comes down to it, if you're, if you're all this talented, it's going to come down to how you play together. Absolutely is. These players are really trying to set up some early opportunities here. Should go for a nice little dribble down the field. Get cut off Ooh. by Gabe, but big demo. I think that's story yet. <laughs> but they reverse from Team Balance, but reverse a little bit faster next time. As we give an easy opportunity on the goal here, the side of Exit Blockers just eating out, rotate back from Team Balance as they get themselves on the board real early. Yeah, that was an awkward pinch on the midfield there that just ended up towards the front of the net. Naps Collectors could capitalize here and look. I think this is the first lead they've had officially in uh, in any of the games so far, and first lead they'll, they've had in this series. So, good start for the Axel Collectors here. Team Balance is going to need to get out of their own zone if they want an opportunity to uh, change up the scoreline and you know even back up. Yeah, and I also want to see how Axel Collectors will really play this lead. Of course, it's not uncommon to go on defense if you have the lead. I mean, hey, you're a point up. Might as well play it safe. Might take too many risks. And overall, not any goals into your net, but. Lost Collectors go for more, and they do! Jade, of course, sneaking in there. Off the left side? Right side? Right side. Oh, look at that team play. Pass, pass, shot. If you want to see, love to see that. The fact that they have the diligence to get it all the way cross field to the open player. Mm. That is some spectacular team play, and uh, I would say... Oh, yeah. Oh, Jade, just on time. Wolf up. Trying to sneak one in there early to cut back and get themselves in the board, but Pounds are working a bit harder than that. Keep up with Axel Collectors right now because they are on fire. On fire and off the bases here as Axel Collectors have the lead at the 30 mark. So he's stirring around the net, looking for more here. A little bit of a bump with the team members here. <laughs> the probably got to spread out a little bit, go collect some boost here as Team Balance wants to finally break into their own zone, but that demo is going to make it rather challenging as. Again, the Axel Collectors lay on the pressure, keep the team balance hemmed in their own zone. Keep them in their own zone. Axel Collectors getting pushed towards their own goal. Let's see the defense coming up from Jade, but are you good enough to do it alone? Yes, you are. A little inaccurate shot off the corner. Oh, no! What a shot! And that's a poof in the corner there. Wow, a beautiful play there is. He is able to just find that corner wide open and no one was there to cover it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna opportunity to drag this back to a one goal game just under the three minute mark. Beautiful little patient goal there. I think I feel like I'm sure you can attest to this, but it's a really a more terrifying feeling than seeing someone simply sit behind the ball as you go for a leap to try and block it. That was like, <laughs> worst case scenario, please get me out of this lobby, like... <laughs> GG, go next, we're yeah, done GGs, here. GG's, go next, I'm out of here. I won't play. play the game anymore, thanks. <laughs> Don't all play me, I'll all play you, no, I'm frustrated. <laughs> oh, big opportunity there for Team Balance, they could be by passing play. Phenomenal opportunity, though, is... He's just gonna try and win out that 50, pops up in the air. Beautiful uh, angle for that Collector's goal here. Good up opportunity. Pops. It. Off the back wall. Oh, dunk attempt, but not this time. Rogers, of course, gonna work on that angle a little bit more. Accuracy will be better next time. We've learned, we've improved it. We'll Just gonna dribble around. Two minute mark here, and uh, we're gonna really. Oh, see. oh, there was the opportunity. Team balance wanted to tie the scoreline, couldn't quite get the opportunity. There's the bump, I believe, put the player back in. Uh, yeah. To save that goal. Lone Wolf up, that's gonna clear out, has boost to work with. It's another touch, ooh, big shot towards just the corner. Barely. Almost top right there was, you know, right on target for something off of him, but good play nonetheless. Yeah, team bounce slightly off on these shots, that's okay. I mean, it, in a game like Rocket League, 
making accurate shots on goal is genuinely difficult. You think it'd be a little easy with how big that ball is and how big the net is, but it's tough to really get that perfect angle to sneak a shot in. He is a challenge, to be honest, here is. Yeah, and Axel Collectors are pressuring team balance here in their own zone, and a big wow. shot there. 3 1 with a minute left. Chim's kind of zipped the very one off his own pass to himself, more or less, just over top of the player. Look at that angle. A beautiful lick off the hood there. How they did say the least off the post and in. 3 1 for Axel Collectors. I don't think I've ever seen a clean ball just roll in off the post like that. That couldn't have been a tighter angle. Can't pay for that kind of bounce, unfortunately. That's not a uh, not an in-game bounce, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> this game is looking to get an opportunity here. Can't quite win that be out. Chims is circling the slot here. He's going to go up and get at least a touch on it. It's underneath one. That gets picked up in team balance. You see he's able to get a touch on it and send it back down to the other end here. Still 45 seconds left. Plenty of time for an opportunity for the wow. team balance to score. Is that opportunity? Had goal written all over it able to capitalize here. Again, 30 seconds left here. It's getting to a tighter, tighter game here as Rogers finally gets it here down to the other end. Just go in the corner. Again, by Rogers is going to circle Out of back. Collectors. Just trying to at least make a play happen. It's not something from happening, really. It's going to be an opportunity here. Not quite as Gabe is going to circle out and make sure that he can go wow. get boost to all this up. Final 10 seconds here is a Leave. The Axel Collector is going to take this match away. This time winds down. Three, two, one, and ooh, another touch. That's that up, but that won't be enough time for the team balance. We'll be another, another to you know collect this dub. So Axel Collector lock with lock with the team. Really good stuff. I love the uh, sportsmanship as well. Just keeping that ball moving. Not trying to stuck into the ground. Axel Collector is trying to keep having fun. Put in overtime, even though they're pretty confident they've won that game. They could put themselves at risk by keeping that ball in play, but they're here to have fun. Even at grand finals here in the Arkansas Coaches Association, they're still having a good time. <laughs> it's it's kind of an unwritten rule in Rocket League that you do not, if at all possible, you do not stop the game. I think the only time that rule is ignored is a game seven scenario, to be honest. But mm. if at all possible, players just want to keep that game going, want to keep the momentum up. And that ball up in the air. It's it's rare, you know, even at the highest levels to see players truly try and get around the ball unless, you know, mm. grand finals game seven situation. But again, yeah, still early in the series here. Everyone's here to play. Everyone's here to have a good time. So teams are going to get ready on this uh, next game, uh, game number four, with the uh, Axel Collectors really uh, on a show here in this game. Finally, a little bit more goals. I wonder if they're going to be able to keep that momentum in themselves in a match point situation. You gotta have that accuracy to really make the shots happen. We see a couple close hits, of course, but we need to hit some actual goals. And I'm sure they realize that they know that they've been warmed up. We're at game four now, correct? So, I mean, this is the point in time where you should be fully warmed up. Kind of show your stuff. It's time for really team balance to turn on those rocket boosters in a big way. Is finally an opportunity drops into the net there, but Jade's gonna put that one out. Try and set up a teammate on the other end for a little pass and play. They get cleared out by team balance as that play not play with the pass. You know, as well, looking for a setup here. Big chance, but a huge clear from Gabe. Lifesaver there. Could have been a dangerous position. Rocket's going for a big dunk. Yeah, it's good. Up in the air, and can't quite <laughs> get a control of it, but. Collectors are going to get an no. open shot on net. What a save. Oh, from nowhere. You see is able to come out of nowhere seemingly and save that away. Is that what it was looking like? A surefire goal for the Axel Collectors there. Yeah, truly a guardian angel for Team Balance. I don't know how many times they've just made some amazing saves, but shout out to them right now because they have been keeping time Team Balance in this game as close as possible. These players are still battling in the corner here. A couple players tangled up. Gabe coming in to stop up the dribble. That's Lone Wolf with open trying to keep up with this, but of course, Asplectus, experts are clearing this ball. Let's keep control of it. Let's see, just trying to keep that clear. Make it a ping pong battle instead of a goal battle. Ball's above the net. 
No big chance yet to see Chims just cleared away. That left side. Still a 0 0 scoreline, just about two minutes into this game number four here. I'm surprised when we saw 3 1 last game. I figured we'd be seeing a little more goals a little earlier on, but this one is kind of back to that tight, very tight first series we saw. Yeah, we definitely saw some really early goals and quite a few in the last game, but at this point in time, I feel like teams are trying to get a little bit of nerves setting in. A little bit of tension, as you see the reaction sort of slow down. Team bounce, sneaking one in on the left side. Zushi, sort of defense, and ready for the offense now. She really just coming out with some flush <laughs> plays on both ends of the field. A huge save to keep the axe collectors out of their net, and then a big opportunity on the other end to break the scoreline. Two minutes and 45 seconds left in this game number four here, and team balance wants to tie up this game to one. Well, I've never seen the ball animation where it just poofs. <laughs> this is my favorite goal explosion, 100%. That, so good. Yeah, the poof and the atomic bomb, my two favorite goal explosions, you know. Oh, yeah. I'll say it's there. Yeah, big fan of the poof. Uh, uh, it was so underwhelming. Everything's so over the top. <laughs> and then just poof. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move towards that spot to the side here one more time. And we're team balance, of course. Both teams fight for that. At least control of the ball as we need one more shot. Come and sue press collectors to really even this game and put them back towards competitive game four because this is something to be a little bit worried about. A 2 2 scoreline with a 2 to 3, and 2 to 3 is even scarier than a best of seven. Yeah, I'd agree with you there. I think this is a uh, you know, really tight series, but uh, you know, they, the, the ask collectors need an opportunity. This up, just having some zone time to match the block. I'm sure they can make them happen. It's just a matter of really setting that up, making that chance, and maybe even getting a couple more demos in. We saw a lot of demos in those first couple games, seeing a lot less now. So, bounce over towards team balance. Nice little clear as well, Zushi. On that defense, one more time, just ready to react, ready to stop off those plays, and Rogers, of course, as well. One more who's ready to keep the team balance in the game. Keep that lead. You must have one on the goal when you have that lead. No need to overcommit. Play in this game over here. Yeah, so our team balance is circling in the Axel zone. For another opportunity. It's their score line here. The Axel is able to break it out. Big 50 get the wolf up. Stalls out. The opportunity there is. Now it's going to break it in their own zone. What a Oh, chance. there it is. Chimps kind of is able to bury one. 40 seconds left here. Just capitalizes on that display of team balance there and finds a slot for two players. Beautiful wow. opportunity there, and we have a time to win. He will probably just barely too late on that ball as well. A little bit of a heartbreaker as they were looking so comfortable in this game four, but now they got to work for it one more time. So quick with the left side here. That's the collectors. Hope we'll at least clap back in the last 30 seconds. Make it a turnaround game for them because they do not want to go to overtime and make this that much more draining for their mental. You can only imagine the tension and the stress these players are feeling at this point to try and close out these games. Go back. Five seconds here, and I, uh, I have a stink. Feeling that we head into another overtime situation, no. and that's gonna come true. That's what we'll dash forward. That is, of course, what chase on that ball, set up for a goal. Two chance! Oh, just one whiff! Inside of Team Bowles and Axe Collectors sneaking that in just 10, under some 10 seconds into the overtime. They've got it. Game four going to them, bringing the match point, and this is looking a bit scared for Team Balance. Reverse 3 0 needed. Yeah, Axel Collectors are able to secure the win, putting them on a match point situation here. If you're Team Balance, what's the solution? I, I'm not sure I know, to be honest. Yeah, at this point, I mean, I can only think of a couple ideas. I want to say. That, of course, Axe Collectors have been really, really solid in the offense. Their defense, of course, is really good as well. But it might, again, be a matter of getting those demos back online. Because we haven't seen a whole lot. We've seen a lot of pressure on the side of... 
tournament right now. We walk away with this match. But who knows what could happen in this final bit. Team Balance, of course, have not been one to slouch because he's seen such amazing improvement of them so far. So let's see if Team Balance is able to secure an opportunity here early on and put themselves up so they can go into the rest of this game with confidence as makes it a misses that in the air there. Gabe wins the opportunity, and Jade's gonna capitalize off of the shout-out. You love to see it, Jade, <laughs> able to bury a goal. Axel can just go up 1-0 early in this game, number five. You can really feel the confidence just radiating from Axel Collectors. I mean, a shout-out like that into an immediate goal, that can speak nothing but, like, real resilience to win this game right now and true emotion of just being so ready. No, nah, the mental for Team Balance has got to be a bit rough. As Collectors, of course, at the top of the world, up 2-0 in just less than, just over 30 seconds here. And that's just a huge statement to make. And for Team Balance, I mean, this is where you got to take it into top gear. Absolutely is. Team Balance gets a decent win on the faceoff. You send that towards the As Collectors end. We cannot buy Oh, it's a uh, crowd by Jim's kind of, but this is that out. Jade is going to have to circle back towards the net. Save up here. It's going to foul in front as time and push work with. Loses that. No. Gabe is going to go from here. Crowd this one. Passes it up to the teammate. A shot on net. Oh, wide from the Ooh, Follow oh, up. No. Oh, the backflip. Was that purposeful? Jade with the shot. Huge save on the goal line there by Rogers. Wow. Crazy opportunities here on both ends of the field. Is Oh, oh my god, no way! Game with the huge team! Post the post and back! Are you kidding me? Team Balance can't buy a goal if they tried. Oh my god! Excuse me for screaming. That was actually way too close. I've never seen a ball be 99% in the goal and then actually save. That was ridiculous, yo. You can't just make saves like that at a match point set. Was oh. insane. I had, I don't even know if I have the words to describe what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was unreal. Rogers is gonna try to clear out of his end. Gonna lose out. That Jim's kind is gonna try and send it back to the team balance side there. Ooh, okay, back to the corner. Try to <laughs> yeah. breathe. Re Recompose, <laughs> breathe. Everyone in chat, watching in person, please breathe. Remember, <laughs> as this one might this be the Oh no! Oh no! Off the post again! Oh. oh, Team Balance, the mental, I'm so sorry. These posts are not your friend today. That happens, but oh my goodness. Axel Collectors are getting so fortunate on these bounces as both of those should have been goal opportunities. They just weren't able to capitalize. Entirely. I mean, I really want to shout out just how much... This is about the tip of the iceberg about potential for these players. On top of that, not every goal is going to be a sh like an actual like point on the board, of course. That's a fact, but when it comes down to it, the amount of professional opportunities that that team are making for themselves is so, so incredible. And if they were just a little bit more fortunate on the accuracy of these shots, this could be a 2-2 scoreline easily. Easily. Wait, look, we got two bets left in this game. It's far from over here. I know Team Balance has more opportunities in their back pocket. We just need to work as a team and a collective. Oh, Get those no! opportunities! But Jim's kind of, going to bury one, sending Axelwinders up 3-0 with 55 left here. And just a smart read, and it looks like almost a team shot there in the air. The yeah, kind of. teammate there, and a little bit of a, a bump from the back. He's able to get extra speed on that shot opportunity there is Team Balance out really in the hole with not a lot of time left. Bit of a Team Air T shot there. Sitting it up for a home run. 3-0 on the scoreline right now. Minute 40 left. Us Collectors looking to make a huge statement in this Game 5 and walk away with the trophy. Unless Team Bounce something to say about it this last minute 30. Of course, Rocket League, this is a very, very tense game. On top of that, it's a game where you can have some very, very explosive moments. You can get multiple goals in just, I'd say, under a minute. It's more than possible. It's got to happen soon. Well, demo attempt there as well. Slow trying to slow down ask collectors. Team balance. They give options, think of opportunities, but gotta capitalize on them fully. Yeah, 
down to the final minute mark here. 3 0 on the side of the action. Like this currently oh, here. rule one going on. Oh, oh, yeah, rule one. You love to see it. For those that don't know, a rule one is when two players collide head to head and they stay on the gas and keep pushing into each other entirely, turning the in game scenario to a two versus two as those players are locked in a head to head battle here. Cape is it out of the <laughs> other end. Oh, you love to see a little 2v2 battle, even on a match point scenario. These players <laughs> refuse as a huge demo Ooh. there. Rogers is able to demo out the defense from the actual side. Opens up the scoring with this demo on Jade here. Ooh. Goodbye, Sayonara. That ball just keeps on rolling. Team Balance is able to break the seal here, and there's enough time to work with for a big opportunity to tie up this game. Yeah, beautiful stuff. I mean, while Wolf Cup is down for the count, the other two, of course, look up Purity. Absolutely beautiful stuff. And of course, I mean, you love seeing how much fun these players are having in this match. I mean, like you said, in a head-to-head -head rule one at yeah, match point, I mean, <laughs> you love to see I can't imagine it happening anywhere but like, a bracket like this. It's beautiful. Only gamers, like, let me tell you. That's another <laughs> no! boost. No, no, and that was up. Oh, let's go! Oh, Wolf puts one more in, and we're not done yet. No, we're far from it. Three seconds is more than enough time to get that ball in the air, and more than enough time to get it down to the other end. And again, reminder, that timer does not stop until the actual ball comes to the ground. Here we go. Big face-off here. All right, Team Bell, give us some more Rocket League. One last chance. Keep it in the air. I'm supposed to try to shut it down. That'll be a wrap. there it is. Axel Ooh. Collectors take it away with a phenomenal showing in this series. Beautiful play. Congratulations to those players as they are your Fall 2022 Play versus Rocket League champions. Congratulations and welcome. Oh my goodness. What an incredible series. We've seen nothing but cooler and cooler head-to-heads throughout the entirety of this Play versus series. And I can't thank the Arkansas Activities Association enough for not only bringing us an incredible match from these players, but also cultivating these players as a team, being able to support them as a community, and really overall just bring us some good games and allow these players to have as much fun as they are because when you're seeing them have such a good time, make these memories, really show themselves, and like really show like just how passionate they are about the game, I mean, I can't help but smile and laugh, man. I mean, commentary is so much fun and the players are having fun, right? <laughs> We have more fun in the booth when all the players have fun on the field, and I think the evidence of that is that rule one in a match point <laughs> scenario. You just love to see it. I, I really, I, I don't have anything else to say about that though. But look, big congrats to both these teams for making it this far. Congratulations to the Axel Collectors. They are your champions for this series. Big shout out to Team Balance as well. Uh, respectively, Valley View High School win and in here in High uh, on the Team Balance side. Phenomenal work, phenomenal plays. We will be back gaming action here. I believe we're heading to some Smash Bros action up next year, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>